Hi, I'm Chris Haig and this is the Fiddle Channel and today we're going to play Zorba the Greek. It's a request from Judith Hillier and she no doubt thought of this because the, the writer of the tune, Mikis Theodorakis, uh, who wrote this tune in 1964, has just very recently died. Um, so we're going to learn uh, a version of this tune and uh, if you've seen the film uh, Zorba the Greek you'll know that this was the dance danced on the uh, Cretan beach by Anthony Quinn and Alan Bates and uh, a very moving scene it was too. Um, it's a type of dance called uh, Sertaki and um, it's a Greek dance, a kind of a, a sliding dance. I think the, um, the feet uh, slide from side to side as you're doing it. So this is an odd sort of tune, um, ideally to be played by two bazookis, uh, <laughs> not by a fiddle. And it really does depend on at least having uh, something in the background, background going boom, boom. Bum, bum. And if you don't have that, um, then you're really wasting your time, and this is not going to work as a solo fiddle tune. So, uh, ideally, you want um, a second instrument playing the melody, a third below, and you want someone uh, on piano or guitar doing the, um, the umpars. Um, I'm going to show you something pretty close to the original. I've just chopped one uh, section of repeats out. Um, I do think if I was going to re um, perform this regularly I would simplify it quite a lot more and I'd take out a few more sections um, but we'll come to that possibly later on so I'm going to show you first of all the, the intro which is just two bars of which you don't really have to play that's just to uh, get everything ready and then it's into um, Immediately, you can see that uh, without the um, boom, 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 without that going on, uh, the tune is going to sound a bit odd. And you do, you are going to rely on hearing those and listening to those bass notes as you're going through. So the first uh, couple of lines: two, three, four. <coughs> bits the on the bazooki original they're mostly played as um, five notes and I've simplified it by making them all into demi semi quavers which I think makes it quite a lot easier uh, if you're a bazooki player this would probably be a terrible crime but I think for a fiddle player it's not so bad uh, let's just hear that beginning um, with the backing so here's the intro where it starts to speed up and you're really want, going to want it to speed up at this point because we then have 64 D's, uh, almost 64 anyway. And 
that really uh, is just going to be painful if you don't have any backing. So let's just go from as it starts to speed up and into that bit. mostly down at the heel and uh, kind of bounced bows so I'm lifting off after each note etc. Then we do um, a similar line and this is the, the, the bit actually that I would chop out because it goes on forever so we've got a whole lot of G's Hi G's. I couldn't bear to repeat that um, and I, yes as I say I would probably cut out all from bar 41 up to bar 70 um, but for completeness I'm presenting it to you here incidentally the the harmony I mentioned would be a third below and uh, some of it is possible to do um, like the D notes are easy enough it would be a lot easier to play the harmony a sixth below rather than a third below. Finally, onto something a bit more exciting, which is the the, uh, the bit where it speeds up again, and it gets. Um, I think it goes into two four here. So here, I'm going to do a down bow and two up bows, and then slur four down and slur three up, and I'm going to play the the B to B flat to B. I'm going to do as a two one two. Let's just hear that bit with the backing.
you've got five little sections at the end there, and I would probably only do two or three of them. Uh, maybe the first one and the third one, or maybe the first, second and third. Uh, so that would be my choice. Uh, so either you do the whole lot or you edit it yourself to down to something a bit more manageable. It would be my suggestion. I uh, hope you enjoy this, I hope you found it useful. Um, I hope you get a chance to play it on a beach in uh, Crete one day. Um, and um, I'll see you again soon. If you like a copy of the dots, then do subscribe and send me an email and I'll send you a copy. Bye.